and we'll go to ads manager. Perfect. So now we're good, G. Now it's time to roll up your sleeves and get into it. So, but, but, but again, we had to spend some time on those because without those, this is a waste of money, right? Without right. those custom audiences set up correctly, without the custom conversion set up correctly, this would, would have been a waste of money, this ad campaign. So now we're good. Now we're going to click on the green button. We're going to create and we're going to go into conversions. That's our, our campaign objective is conversions. And that's for anyone. Wait, wait, actually, no, 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 don't, don't, don't click anything yet. Go, oh. go, go. Yeah. Um, that's fine. That's fine. But try not to click ahead because every little thing is important. So click on edit. So what we'll do, it's fine. We could do it from here. So we're going to name the campaign. So go ahead and give it a, a name at the top. And, and what you're naming it, what you're naming it is also in parentheses, you're going to name it conversions. Because as you look at everything on the dashboard, you see how behind this screen, you have the blue dots to the left. Mm -hmm. It says seller guide leads conversions in parentheses. And then below it, it says video views. What you want to start doing in these titles is getting more specific and more descriptive. Because when you look at this, when you look at the dashboard from a 30,000 square foot view, just like I'm looking at it now, the background, I see seller guide leads conversions, and then I see video views. But when I look at it and see video views, I'm thinking, what video? Right? Right. Yeah. So you, as you have 15 different ads going, and if they're all listed video views, you're going to be like, shit, what ad is that? Right? So you want to be descriptive in the title. Um, so in this case, seller guide leads conversions, that's perfect for the first title. And then as we go on to the second title, which is new ad set. And then as we go to the third title, new ad, we'll also want to be descriptive on those as well. So this is fine for now. So we got conversions, we got seller guide leads conversions, and then let's scroll um, actually at the top. For housing, you'll always go special ad category and you'll always shift that off to on. That gray needs to always go on. Hit the drop down and you're going to housing. That's for your for your specific business. You always need to do that. If you don't shift that to on and turn it blue, this ad will get rejected. Okay. okay. So yeah. you'll always need to shift it to blue. Okay, good. So we're good there. Um, we're good there. We don't need campaign budget optimization in, in this case. We'll just hit next. So that's the first step. That's the first what I call tab. That's the objective conversions. Now we're in the second tab which is the, the second step. And this is where we're going to choose our budget, our targeting, our, 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 our age. Actually, we can't choose age. Um, but this is where we'll choose our conversion event. So right there, sometimes watch X out, right where it says seller guide leads. Hit that X, X that out. Sometimes yeah. as you come, yeah, X that out. Sometimes as you get to this step, that will be blank. So if it's ever blank, all you'll do, it'll look just like that. Sometimes it looks just like that. It's red, it's blank. You'll have to click on it, find your custom conversion, and then choose it. So your custom conversion, we named it Seller Guide Leads. That's the thank you page, okay? So that's what we're telling Facebook over here. We're telling Facebook the end destination. We're telling Facebook the actual goal, and that's to get people to the thank you page, which is my custom event, my conversion event, Seller Guide Leads. So right there at the top, new ad set, this is simply naming the second tab. Naming, um, normally what I do in here is I'll name the city that I'm targeting. I'll name maybe the, um, the demographics that we're targeting. But in your case, in, in your case with real estate, we're going to just target, we're going to leave everything blank. So if anything, maybe put the city, put the name of the city in the title of the ad set name. And then maybe also put the actual Maybe put the budget. And, and how, about, how about East? You, do I, I don't put seller guide? No, 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 no. Because again, okay. you, you already named you already named the, the, the first step that seller guide leads conversions. You already got it named there. We're now in the second step. We want to give this an abbreviation as well. And so normally the city, um, and then and then maybe, maybe, maybe the budget can go right there. Just again, this is only important when you're looking at everything from a bird's eye view. And I'll show you once we're done. This is just good when you're glancing at everything, 
you know exactly what campaign that is. So this is targeting Kirkland. This is um, this is um, 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 and then you could put you could maybe put the 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 actual budget. So it, let me ask you this first. Let me let me ask you this first before you put anything else. Are we targeting multiple cities or is it just one city? I was going to do about like five cities. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So we're going to get down and dirty with this ad. Okay, cool. So right here, we're going to put, I can't really read it. It's too, you, you got Kirkland, what? Kirkland East Side? East, east Side, because all of the five cities that I'm targeting are on the East Side. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, um, okay, that's fine. Okay, so now we're going to scroll down. We got our, our pixel, our pixel is there, our, um, our, our cu custom conversion. And then here you're going to go. And, and the reason why I asked how many cities, because what we're going to do is we're going to set up each one individually. What a lot of rookies do is they'll put all five cities all in this one campaign. That's not how you run ads. We're going to separate every single one of them. So with that being said, it's up to you. Five cities, it's up to you. Four cities, three cities, but what you want to base it on is five bucks per day. So the daily budget, change that 20 to five, and you're not going to run this. So for example, if we go five bucks a day on Kirkland, and then we go five bucks a day on Seattle, and we go five bucks a day on freaking the other city, we're at $15 per day. We're not going to be at that budget for an entire month. We're only going to be at that budget for three days. So for example, how many days? three, here's how it works. Here's how it works. So we're going to set this up four cities. We'll just do four cities at a time, $20 a day. Okay. But the way you, the way we, the way we, we, we test it and the way we gauge it is we put in four cities individually, five bucks a day, which puts us at $20 a day overall. You run that for three days. You run it for three days. We come back in and we see which city is giving us the leads. It's only going to be one out of four. It might be two out of four. You might think Kirkland loves you, but maybe they don't. Maybe yeah. no leads are coming from Kirkland and you're getting more leads from Seattle or whatever. Right. right. And then so in three days, we come back in here and we shut off Kirkland. Yeah. And then we just run with Seattle, for example. So if we set up four in the beginning, it's only going to be one to two of them that we end up keeping in the end. And the end is only, it's, it's three days, three days. So- it's not like you're going to run this one campaign at 20 bucks a day for, for, um, you know, for 30 days. It's really just the first few days to find that one audience, to find the one out of four that is our, our, that is our winner. Okay. Makes sense. So, okay. so yeah. it's either, it's either we go five bucks a day or we go 10 bucks a day. And that's why in the beginning, in the beginning, you'll, you'll, you'll spend a little bit more in the beginning, because in the beginning, you're targeting a cold market. We're getting ready to release an ad to an audience that don't know us. They've never been on our website. They've never, well, in this case, they watched our intro video because we're going to retarget those who watched the intro video. But other than that, we're talking, we're talking a couple million people, or let's just, let's just call it a few hundred thousand people that don't even know us. Okay. So that's why the, in the very, very beginning, the ads are always a little bit more expensive cost per lead, always a little bit more expensive because you're targeting a cold audience. After we go on to ad number two, three, four, five, then we have a warmer audience. Now we're retargeting people who landed on our website. We're retargeting more people who watched our videos in the past. We're retargeting video number one, video number two, video number three. We're, net, we're now on ad number four. We're retargeting video number one, two, and three, the 25 percenters. So now we're, by the time we get to three, four, and five, we're retargeting warmer audiences. So therefore our cost per lead will drop. Um, significantly it's just in the beginning we may end up paying per, more per, more per lead so five bucks a day is is okay ten bucks a day is better obviously but it's up to you um, because that's because what we're testing is four audiences at a time so if we went ten bucks per day you're at forty dollars per day for the first three days okay you know what I mean so so it's kind of up to you but but again in real estate that's why I always say like in real estate, it's like, man, you, you want to spend, you want to spend because it takes one damn deal to justify all this. So if I was spending 20 bucks a day for 30 days, 600, and I'm making six grand for just one damn deal. Like that's how you have to be looking at it. You know, you don't want to really Mickey Mouse this. That's what, that's what most agents do. They'll spend five bucks and get scared because they didn't capture a lead. 
It's like, shit, really? Like, you got to be willing to spend a little bit more than that. But let's just start out. But I, but I want we'll you to scale out. up. Yeah, I want we'll you to be thinking, you know, big, bigger numbers eventually. But let's just do, let's do five bucks. Let's do five bucks. Do, go, go, go five bucks. And, and, and again, we're going to set up three other audiences, um, which will put us at 20 a day. So, so that's fine. And then now the start date, the start date, let's go tomorrow. Let's go start date the 23rd. Let's start fresh Saturday morning. Go, go, go the 23rd and go 6 a.m. Can we do, can we do late? Can we do like Monday or something? Yeah, that's fine. I, do Monday, I don't, 6 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then end date. Are we doing Wednesday? And, and, and you know what we're going to do also, you know what? Um, this is one way to, to run the ad. I'm going to show you another way to run the ad. We'll do the, we'll do the other way next time. And that's campaign budget optimizations. I didn't know we were going to run multiple cities and, and that's the best way to do it, but there's two ways to do it. One is through the, through campaign budget optimizations, which I don't want to confuse you on right now. And then the other way is this way. And we'll just focus on this way for right now. But our next okay. one, our next ad, we'll, we'll, we'll test another way as well. So, um, yeah, go ahead, and, go ahead and set it for set it for four days. Set it for four days from the 25th to the 29th or the 30th okay. or the 30th. Um, okay. Same time, 6 a.m., 6 a.m., perfect. Okay, cool. So we're good there. We're good there. Let's scroll down. And here's what we're going to do. Let's scroll down. And then the audiences. So this is where you include and exclude audiences. So right there at the top, you'll see custom audiences. Scroll down right there. Let's include our 25% of intro video. So those folks who watched our previous video, they're going to see this ad. Um, and then, and then again, if we have, if, if we already were at the point where we already had leads ad number two, three and on, then you'll exclude your lead audience and that's below. So click out, click out, get out of there, click out, click away. Yeah. So right there where it says exclude, right there where it says exclude, click exclude. That's where you would exclude. You can move that zoom. Is there a zoom window in your way? Where? The, the zoom panel. Is there a zoom it's up panel? There. Yeah, just click it and drag it out the way if it's in your way. But right there where it says exclude, you would click on that and you would exclude your leads. Right. Um, no, above, above. It says exclude right there. No. So exclude is right here. Oh, yeah. got it. Yeah. So this is where you would exclude your leads, that custom audience of leads. You can also set up a custom audience of your appointments. So a custom audience of scheduled appointments is all, also good as well. That way I can exclude everyone who has already scheduled an appointment with me. Okay. Because, because leads, leads and appointments, those are people who are on two different lead or two different lists within, within Kartra. So the reason why I want to exclude them here is because I don't need to spend money to get them to see, let's say it was a listing lead. And, 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 and that's a listing lead. Let's say it's a listing lead and they may have not purchased my last listing, but now I have a new listing and I'm running a new Facebook ad three weeks. Let's say we're three weeks later and I'm running a new Facebook ad on a new listing. You would think it would be good to retarget the people who opted in to my listing lead ad three weeks ago. But really, I would exclude them because those are people that I don't necessarily need to spend money on showing my next ad, my next listing. I can just email them the damn listing. Right. Right. So it's always, that's why you'll always exclude leads no matter what. You'll always exclude appointments no matter what. That ad, no, it don't need to run to them. Show them an email. Email them that ad. Email them, Right. Um, so, so that right there is your include and exclude audiences. And then down the age, you don't, you cannot change age in your business housing. Um, the special okay. ad category, you can no longer change gender. And then the detailed targeting, what I end up doing, because we're only targeting a small area, the detailed targeting, leave it open. What a lot of people do is they'll try to click on, watch, click on edit on the detailed targeting to the right edit. 
what a lot of people do is they'll put in people who who showed an interest in Zillow, people who showed an interest in 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 in, in freaking realtor.com. What a lot of people do is they'll try to blast a bunch of words in that in that in that in that detail targeting. But again, we're targeting one specific area. And for the cost, let everybody see it because you, you can't change age anymore. So you might as well just let everybody see your ad. And it's only those who are interested that are going to actually watch it. It's only those who are actually interested that are going to actually click and download. And because we're creating custom audiences around those people, I don't need to, to narrow it in here. I don't need to narrow it in here. But what you do want to narrow in is that, that United States. Take out that U.S. That's where we put in Kirkland. So above the U.S., that's where we X out and then we put in our city right there. And then also you want to go with, as you find that Kirkland, right above it, that drop down, people living in, change that. Yeah, you can change the mileage. And so the all the little details that we're doing here, it's always good to use that to abbreviate in the title. So if I'm going Kirkland, and I'm going 20, 19 miles, let's put that in the title. Kirkland, 19 miles, and then change that, 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 um, the, the drop down. So yeah, once you finish that, yeah, hit that drop down above. No, above, people living in, change that. People living in this location. In this case, with a seller guide, I'm looking for homeowners, right? So I'm looking for people who live in, not people traveling in or whatever, you know? So that's super important right there. So go back up to the top and let's, let's, let's add 19 to the title. So right to the title, at the very, very top. Here? No, 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 no the very, very top, very, very top, very, very top. Go scroll up to the very, very top. Okay. Yeah. So back to the, to the title, Kirkland, and just take out the word East side. Like you don't need East side. It's Kirkland. It's Kirkland. And then just put um, 19 miles, 19 miles. That's, that's who we're targeting. And then, and then, and, and then maybe, maybe in parentheses, put $5, you know, just so you can see, again, it's just to glance and see the title and know exactly what ad that is when we're viewing everything from the dashboard. That's why that title is important. So Kirkland, 19 miles, five bucks. Perfect. We're good. Okay. So scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Um, we're good, good, good age, good gender, good detail targeting. We're going to leave wide open. Um, languages, if anything, you may want to change language and go English, English all um, in the languages. So just, everything is to the right. The edit button is everything is to the right. So just hover over it and then go to the right languages. Oh. To oh. the right, yeah. Edit and then just just type in English and then just go with English all. Just hit the drop down English all, perfect. And then scroll down. And here's what we're gonna do. We're actually going to 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 manual place it. So we're not gonna give Facebook the ability to place the ad everywhere. And everywhere is right below. So as you look at all this, this is everywhere where Facebook would place the ad. Instagram, Messenger, Audience Network, all these different platforms. We only have five bucks. So it's, it's, yeah. it's like we need that to, to stretch as far as we possibly can. And so prime real estate on Facebook is the newsfeed. So I only want to be there. So uncheck Instagram, uncheck Audience Network. Can we leave? I mean, wouldn't you be good on Instagram too? No, not for the same ad. You'll run an Instagram ad completely separate. Okay. So, so, and that's, that's, yeah, yeah. You'll want to run it completely separate. And at the same time, that image needs to be sized for Instagram. It's a different dimension. It's a different size image. It's a vertical shot. Okay. Okay. So you'll, you'll do a completely different image and a completely different ad for Instagram. So in this case right here, we're going to uncheck in stream, uncheck in stream, uncheck um, search uncheck in article we're only going with the feed so uncheck all that other stuff yeah article uncheck that so we're only going with the news feed perfect that's where your ad's going to be seen is is the feed okay cool so scroll down and then maybe put that in the description maybe put that in the title so scroll all the way up and then maybe just put feed only 
You know, we're trying to be just brief and descriptive in that title so we can, again, glance at it and know exactly what we're doing without having to click in and look at everything. Okay, so we're good there. Scroll down, scroll down. We're good. Hit next. Okay, perfect. So now at the top, the title, you could just put image. Just put image, um, headshot image, put, put anything in the, in the title of this one. So now all we're going to do is, yeah, go to give it a title, give it a name, image. That's fine. And then um, Instagram account, we don't need that because we're not running on Instagram. Um, if anything, just hit the drop down and then just choose a business page. Actually, yeah, just choose it. Just put it there for the heck of it. Okay, good. And then, and then what you can do is you can go ahead and you're going to create ad and then you're going to here's how you normally would do it for video for for image you can do it this way but when you do a video always put that video on the business page first okay, okay. upload it first there just like you did the intro video you had it there first and then we came here and ran the ad but with an image you don't necessarily have to put it on the business page first you can just grab it from your download folder from here um but the reason why i don't like doing it that way is because once you turn off this ad it ends on the 29th so once you turn off this ad, it's nowhere to be found. Okay. I'd rather, if I'm going to spend money on it, I'd rather have it stay on my business page forever. So in case okay. in two months, someone comes to my page and they want to click on learn more, they can go get my seller guide. Right. But in this case, it's not going to be there after the 29th, the, the ad is off. It's, it's nowhere to be found. No one can find it. You know what I mean? So that's why I don't do it this way. I always put it on the business page first. So but it's okay. This is, this is what we call a dark post ad. That's what this is called, a dark post ad. It's ran behind the scenes. It's not on the business page. So all we're going to do is we're going to go with single image right there, single image. It's already filled in. And then down, you're going to click on add media right below. So um, add media below the drop down. add media right there. And then just add, oh, add, yeah. add image. And then, um, and then you just go ahead and click on the upload to the top left, upload, and then just find that image. Okay. Okay, cool. And then hit next. And then now all we're going to do is we're going to just, um, what you can do is you could just go with, go with, um, go with square, go with the square, the one by one. Check that okay. box right there. Square. Yeah. There you go. Go, go with that one. Okay. And then click done. Okay, cool. So now it's going to just come down to writing out the text. That's what we got to get good at is, is the text now, right? And then also adding the link to the landing page. So let's do that real quick. Go to Kartra, grab your landing page link, and we're going to put that link right over here. Um, five placements. What is, what is going on? What happened? Um, just, you know, that, that part's not important. Just go to your landing page. Go to Kartra real quick. Okay. Grab the link. Yeah, grab the link over here. Get page or get code. Yeah. And then just grab the whole link. Get the page link. And then we're going to put that over here in the call to action button. So right, um, you, you'll you see right below, go down. Um, so right there in the website URL, go ahead and paste in your link. And then, okay. and then scroll down just a bit, scroll down. Okay, cool. And then, and then if you hit that drop down, there's different call to actions, but learn more is what you'll, you, there's also a download one. So click, scroll through it. Look at all of them. Scroll through it. There's also a download one. So some people go with download. But then some people, or most people, 99% of people go with learn more. Learn more is the most clicked on button. Yeah. Yeah, cool. learn more. Okay, so now here's what you'll do. Now we got to just get good at the text. So the display link, you can – actually, the dis display link, why don't you change that display link? Go ahead and – right where it says display link. Yeah, put in put in um, your actual dot com, which is what what is it? Do you, what is Genevieve, Genevieve Jones? Genevieve Jones Properties. 
yeah, perfect.com or whatever. Yeah, you can always put that there. Um, and then and then and then at the top you have the text, you have the headline, and that's really all you need is the text and the headline. So um, once you once you once you complete that, you click on publish and then you're done with the first one, which is Kirkland. What then should we, the, what should the headline say? Well, that the headline is 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 download your free seller guide now, and and also what you always wanted to want to make sure is that it fits. So right there to the right, download your free seller guide. Perfect. You may you may be able to write a little bit more, but you don't want to write too too much because it won't fit right there. You want it to fit, right? So it's something. The headline is something short and sweet with a call to action. Download your free seller guide now. Put the word now and see if now. It's okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so so yeah, something like that. I mean, it could be download your free seller guide, download your free free seller guide now. Um, and then now we got to just get you know get creative with the actual copy is what it's called the text. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Should everything so, be capitalized? Hello, East Side Seattle homeowners. No. Um, yes. Yeah. Hello, East Side Seattle. Yes. Homeowners. Yes. The H. Yes. But nothing else after that. Okay. And I put a comma. Hello, Seattle homeowners. You can uh, put together. Should that should that be on a different line? I don't know. I'll leave yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. You could do that. Yeah. Put it on a different line. Hit enter twice. Hit it again. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, so that's good. That's good. You don't need no, a description. Then you don't, then you don't read it. If I do that. Yeah. That's why, you know, the text, the, I mean, it's, it's tricky. You can go, I've seen both. I've seen both forms work long form, short form, one sentence. Just, we'll do that that way. They can read it. They okay. can read a little bit, but Perfect. you know, it'll show. Perfect. Okay. All right. So then scroll down, scroll down. We got everything we need. The link is there for the, for the, for the landing page. And we're going to click on, and we're going to make sure that that dot is green. That's our pixel real estate ads. Always make sure that that's the right pixel. And then we hit publish. Okay. So here's what we do next. Here's what we do next. Now, again, this is, this is the setup. This is, this is somewhat time consuming. Um, but this is how you got to do it. So hit hit the X. Let's close out of this. This is publishing. This is now going to all be in review. This is scheduled to go live on Monday. Let's X out. Um, here? Yeah, go to next out right there. So now so, here's what? what go ahead. This is, if this is like 19 miles within Kirkland, it's probably getting like all of the cities that I'm like looking at. Yeah, see, so that's what, that that's, that's what I also wanted to know. Like, how far apart are these cities? Because they're super close. So, let okay, me so then we you. don't need to do multiple ad sets then. I don't think so. Let me, let me so see. then, let me make sure. So, so, oh, actually, Yeah, see if everything is within that mileage, then then no. We'll just go with one ad set. That's why with real estate, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty black and white as far as targeting. Um, okay, so because, Seattle is 7.7. And then uh, let's see what, what was I gonna do? I'm gonna do Redmond. Redmond is four. Yeah, oh yeah. No, we don't Bellevue. need multiple ad sets. Bellevue, Bellevue, Bellevue is five, Bothell is five, Woodenville five. Um, yeah, if I'm doing within 19 miles, we're good. Like okay. That. So then what was, what, what, what's your overall monthly budget? Let's just put it that way. Like what, what were you planning? What were you thinking? What can you allocate over the next 30 days for starting um, freaking Monday? Um, uh, monthly, probably like one to $200. Like I was thinking. Okay. Like so here's, like here, here's what you want to, you want to at least do this. You want to at least put Go back to the ad, go back to the ad set. So click on the middle tab. Okay. Okay. So look, so look, click on the tab right there where it says campaigns one selected. Click on, click on that to the left campaigns that there's a, that's a tab up 
right there. That's a tab. That's a tab. So that's campaigns tab. Then you got the middle tab, which is ad sets. Then you got the tab to the right, which is ads. Click on that. Click on campaigns. Click. This one on the yeah, left. Click. Yeah, click, click right there. That's the tab. So that's your first tab. So that's why when we when we name it seller guide leads conversions, we can see it right there. Boom. That's the conversion. Click on the middle tab, ad sets. So again, when we're looking at it from this view, we can click on the middle tab, ad sets. Oh, here we go. That was that didn't work. You okay. look at it, you can look at it and you can see right away that's Kirkland, 19 miles, five bucks a day, feed only, right? You don't right. have to click in it and go see and search what the hell you're targeting. It says it right there, right? Yeah. That's why that's so important. And then the third tab, the ads, I can just click on that and know it's an image. It's not a video, it's an image, right? So that's right. why the description in the, in the title is so important. But in this case, here's what, what you're going to want to do. Like, you're going to want to, because what, what I initially was thinking is that we were going to target multiple cities, which yeah. would all be $5 each per day for the first right. few days. So if it's only one city, you're going to want to increase that five bucks. You're going to want to want to go to at least $10, like for real estate, for leads, like, no, not right there. Not right there. Don't do it there. Just go into the edit, click on edit. And then just do it, do it right here. So change that. And, and here's the deal too. Once that ad goes active, don't change anything. We're only changing it here right now because the ad is, is in review and now it's pending to go live in a few days. But but after it goes live, don't mess with anything. Okay. Okay. Super, super important because you'll throw you'll throw it all off. So now we're at 10 bucks a day. We're good. Here's okay. the plan. So here's the plan. Here's the plan. This goes live on Monday. Let's chat midweek next week. Okay, let's do yeah, do you to, so it goes live on Monday? And then let's talk, uh, let's, this, let's chat Thursday or Friday. The, let's do Wednesday. Cause I'm nervous. <laughs> no, don't be nervous. It's, it's, it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all good. Like, don't be nervous. Because Everything is set up. Custom well, audiences. The emails, the emails actually, I need work to on the emails. Email. Yeah. Work right. on the emails. Um, get those emails tight and that's it. So work on those emails and then let's chat, let's chat Wednesday or, or after Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but, but in the beginning, here's the thing. In the beginning of all ads, you're targeting a cold market people that don't know you. You have to be, you have to, that's why 10 bucks a day is, is minimum. Like that's minimum. Um, but in the first few days of any campaign, you never worry about the numbers. So Monday, don't be micromanaging this ad. Like Tuesday, who cares about the numbers? I don't want to look at these numbers until Thursday to tell you the truth. Okay. Because you need, you need to let Facebook work. You need to let them work and they need at least three, four days. They need to, they need at least seven to 10 days to tell you the truth. And, and here's the deal. Go back to, go back to the ads manager real quick. When, when this ad goes live, we're, yeah, you can work on this part later, but go to the ads manager real quick. X out of this. When this ad goes live, here's what, here's what it's showing right now. This you're in the middle tab. You're in the second tab. Everything we're going to be referring to is tabs. You're in the middle tab, the ad sets. That says scheduled. Click on the tab to the left, campaigns. Okay. That's going to say scheduled as well. So the campaign tab is approved. The ad set tab in the middle is approved. What's in review is the third tab, which is the image. So click on the third tab to the right, ads. That's going to say in review. So once it approves, it's going to say scheduled and it may approve tonight. It may approve tomorrow. It may not approve until, until Sunday, but eventually when it approves, it's going to say scheduled. And then once it goes live on Monday, everything is going to say um, um, active. That's what that will end up saying a green dot and it'll say active and it'll say active on all three tabs. Okay. Now what it's going to also say though, it's going to say learning. So that means that Facebook is still learning. They're still trying to find out who your ideal client is, who your ideal lead is. And what my point is that Facebook would tell you that they need seven to 10 days to find that. But a lot of men mentors that I learned from give it three to four days. So they give it three to four days to get enough data to find out if that's a good ad or not. And then um, it's not until your fourth day when you'll eventually either shut it off or, or yeah, or yeah, or pause it and, and, and re-strategize. Maybe it's the image. Maybe it's what you wrote in the image. It's not the, it's not the city because you're targeting just a city. So 
and there's homeowners in that city. So it's not that. If anything, you, we'd want to switch out the image, if anything. Maybe, maybe the text. So in four days is when we should look at this ad. It's not, it's not anywhere in mid, mid, you know, the beginning of the week. Let Facebook work it. You know, let Facebook go out and try to find your ideal client. Okay. Okay. So just work on these emails. Work on these emails over the weekend or next week. And then let's chat. Let's chat Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. That Schedule sounds, a call. Schedule that a call for that. Perfect. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that right now. Awesome. Sounds good, G. You're off to the races. So have a wonderful weekend and we'll <laughs> chat next week. All right. Thanks, Thanks. David. We'll Bye -bye. talk to you soon. Have Bye -bye. a good